So what is Enlaw and why am I making a video about it? Good questions. Firstly, Enlaw is the British Army's name for the Saab Bofors developed MBT Law. In the early 2000s, the British Army was looking for a more capable replacement of its Law 80. The Saab offering, the next generation light anti-tank weapon, won the contract in 2002, beating out several competitors, including the SARW-based Kestrel. Secondly, I'm making this video as I'm interested in anti-tank weapons, and the UK has just announced the transfer of light anti-tank weapons to Ukraine in light of the continuing tensions with Russia. The UK is the latest nation to announce that they will be providing weapons to Ukraine. They follow US shipments of Javelin missiles late last year, and we've already seen these in the hands of Ukrainian troops. Most recently, it's been confirmed that Lithuania will supply anti-tank systems too. The UK's Defence Minister Ben Wallace stated that We've taken the decision to supply Ukraine with light anti-armour defensive weapon systems. While that doesn't specifically name Enlaw, it does describe the role which Enlaw fills. So what is Enlaw? Enlaw is a disposable single-shot system which weighs about 12.5 kilograms or 27.5 pounds. It uses a predicted line of sight guidance system which identifies the selected target and calculates where that target will be when the missile reaches it. Like Javelin, it's capable of targeting the tank's weakest point, its topside. The Enlaw has two firing modes, direct attack, with the missile flying directly to the point of aim, useful for engaging static targets. While the second, overfly top attack, uses the predicted line of sight or PLOS system, where the guidance algorithm optimizes the trajectory of the warhead on an elevated flight path above the target, with the onboard proximity fuse in the warhead then detonating and firing an explosively formed penetrator down onto the target. British Army analysis in the 2000s found that in order to provide adequate close range defence against armoured vehicles, significant numbers of Enlaw would be required in order to ensure a sufficient coverage of the battlefield. This meant that the system had to be capable and affordable. Since its delivery and introduction into service in 2009, the Enlaw has been the secondary anti-tank weapon of the British Army's specialised anti-tank platoons with the Javelin being their primary. The British Army describes it as a non-expert short-range anti-tank missile that rapidly knocks out any main battle tank in just one shot by striking it from above. While not cheap, at around £20,000 per system, Enlaw costs significantly less than the longer-ranged, more complex Javelin. It's currently in service with Finland, Sweden, Luxembourg, Indonesia and Saudi Arabia, and it's seen some action during Saudi Arabia's interventions in Yemen. The weapon can engage close range targets at as close as 20 meters, and it can take on static targets at 600 meters, and moving ones at 400 meters. Technically, the Enlaw isn't actually an anti-tank guided missile, as the missile is not guided by an onboard system once it's fired. Instead, it uses the predicted line of sight system, which enables it to be used like a fire and forget anti-tank guided missile. The weapon's operator activates the predicted line of sight system and tracks the target for 2-3 to three seconds in the Enlaw's sight, a removable Trijicon ACOG, before firing. The guidance system calculates the predicted flight path to the target to ensure a hit. The number of Enlaw being dispatched by the UK has not been confirmed, although several flights of RAF C-17s were made overnight on Monday the 17th. From this footage released by the Ukrainian Ministry of Defence, showing the arrival of the C-17s carrying the Enlaws, we can estimate that this flight alone contains somewhere between 180 and 216 Enlaws. It isn't clear just how many Enlaw systems the UK has stockpiled, but it's likely that as the missiles have a limited shelf life, the older systems may have been transferred first. The terms of the agreement to transfer the Enlaws hasn't been made public, but it was confirmed that a small team of British troops would accompany the weapons to provide initial training to the Ukrainian forces on how to use them. This is in line with Operation Orbital, the UK's training mission to Ukraine, which was established in 2015. Wallace was keen to stress that this support is for short-range and clearly defensive weapons capabilities. They are not strategic weapons and pose no threat to Russia. They are to use in self-defence and the UK personnel providing the early stage training will return to the UK after completing it. The UK has been working with Ukraine not just through Operation Orbital, but also more broadly with a number of agreements being signed in 2021 to support Ukraine's naval capability. While the usefulness of the Enlaws are confined to close-range engagements, 
the move is clearly a symbolic signal to Russia. Thanks for watching guys, this was something a little bit more current than I usually cover. But as I'm already working on a number of videos about more recent anti-tank weapon systems, I thought this would be a good time to briefly cover the NLO. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. If you're enjoying the videos, please do consider supporting us via Patreon. You can find a link to that at the end of the video and in the description box below. Patreon supporters get access to videos early, as well as some thank you perks including stickers, postcards and a copy of the Tab Advanced Combat Rifle Coloring Book. Thanks again for watching. Catch you next time.